Aaron, just uh, what did you think of Cole? You know, he obviously looked very good. Did, uh, did he look as good from your vantage point as he did from up here? Uh, yes, I, I, I thought he was even a little bit crisper this time out. Um, I thought his fastball was playing a little bit better. I thought he did a good job with it in the strike zone and then, you know, and then running it up in the strike zone when he wanted to. Um, I thought that was really effective while, while still maintaining the, the command with the, with the secondary stuff that was, that was again, excellent. So another, another really good step for him, you know, to get up over 80 pitches, um, and, and get through six innings. Um, yeah, I thought he was really impressive. Meredith, go ahead. Aaron, what's the plan for Cole? Will he pitch in the exhibition or will he not? Uh, pro probably not. We'll, you know, um, right now we're, we're keeping him on that fifth day. So he would actually go Friday right before the exhibitions. Um, but that's something that we'll also um, keep a little bit fluid and monitor and, again, see how he bounces back tomorrow, see when we want to take the sixth day. Um, but we'll probably use it uh, heading into the opener. So as of right now, no, but I guess it's possible that could change. You had mentioned prior to the intra-squad game that Aaron Judge was getting treatment. Do you uh -huh. expect him out there tomorrow? Uh, yeah, we're not inter squadding or anything. We have a lighter, right. right. We have a lighter day tomorrow. Um, so, so we'll see. Um, I'm hopeful that he'll be ready to go, uh, for Tuesday's inter squad game, but we'll just see. Um, again, I, I don't think it's going to be something that keeps him down too long, but you know, I, most of us have had that kind of neck where you get it wrong and makes hitting tough. So we'll be smart with it. We won't push it and see where he is coming in tomorrow and then go from there. Mm -hmm. Sweeney Murdy, go ahead. Hey, Aaron, at any point, will you start using these games to practice any of the extra inning stuff? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll use, we'll pick some spots where we'll do some situational stuff. Um, uh, so I, I guess the answer is sort of yes. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to pick situations where, you know, we can try some things that don't necessarily have to you know, happen in the 10th inning or whatever, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll pick some spots where we do some things where, you know, maybe we'll have a guy bunt in, in a situation that maybe sometimes we wouldn't. Particularly with your late inning relievers, like would you use Britain or somebody and just have him start his inning with a runner at second, kind of work that way? Yeah, that's possible. And, and one of the things we've been emphasizing with them is, um, you know, a lot of our PFP work, our PFP work the other day was with relievers for those kind of situations where we've added, you know, a little more plays than we would otherwise do uh, during the regular season because of because of that rule. So we're trying to prepare the, the guys for those kind of situations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next question from Christy Ackert. Christy. Hi, Aaron. Uh, just a quick question. Is Cole at a point where you want to keep building him up, or is this something you want to maintain with him and, and let him go into his, his regular season at where he's at? No, we'll, we'll build from here. Um, you know, chances are we'll add to, to this pitch count the next time out. Um, you know, uh, that would be the plan as of right now, but you also got to see the, un the outing unfold to a degree too. Um, so I think there's a chance he could still be built up. Is there anything to the fact that you will be playing the Phillies and the Mets a lot during the regular season to not having them see your pitchers in exhibition games? N not really. Um, okay. In fact, you know, that's certainly a question that always comes up. And, and when we were, you know, in the process of scheduling these games, um, I put a premium on the game action and, you know, whatever, uh, competitive advantage you might lose by a guy seeing somebody. Uh, I think in this situation, it, it, that's so be it. I think there's value in, in playing some other teams for a few games that, um, you know, you got to take what you can get. And finally, just off another topic, but what's the benefit of having umpires here for these games? Well, I think for them, it's a benefit. Certainly, okay. you know, just for them to get the reps. And, you know, I think those guys were really excited to get out there today and start working and, 
you know, they're, it's their spring training too. They're getting ready for the regular season too. But also, you know, for us to have a few, a few, you know, major league umpires out there, um, you know, it just keeps it more of a legit called game, even though, you know, Radley and Julio, I thought did a nice job. It's nice to have, uh, the, the real pros out there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next question from Max Goodman, Max. Hey Aaron, uh, just a fairly quick one for you. Um, do you consider Esteban Florial in the same category as those uh, competing for a spot in the outfield for like an opening day roster spot? And then just as he's the top rated position player prospect that's among this group, what have you seen from him so far? A nice throw today. He stole a bag the other day, been lighting mm -hmm. it up in BP. Yeah, you know, we we love Flo. We we think he's got a chance to be a special player. You know, he, he's been robbed a little bit um, of his development the last couple of years with some injuries that he's run into, um, obviously this year with getting shut down. So, you know, that's, that's hurt his development a little bit. But um, – we still love the person and the tools and the potential. And there's no, there's no question that his ceiling still remains incredibly high. And I think there's a lot of value to him being out here. Um, you know, as far as opening day, look, if one thing 2020 and this virus has shown us that, you know, <laughs> you, you got to be adjustable in your plans. And, and uh, so he's here with the thought that, you know, if something happens, he's very much in, becomes in that mix.